The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned, because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. We, we are celebrating the feast of the Holy Trinity. And every time I hear the word Trinity, it's just like it scares me. Because uh, when I was a kid back in the Philippines, and we have this class, religion class, I was in the fourth grade, and I asked my teacher, can you explain the Trinity for me as easy as much possible? And she said, the Trinity is a mystery. That's all she said. And I asked more. But I know it's a mystery, but tell me more. When it's mystery, we don't ask questions. <laughs> and help me to think of it. And even today, I accepted it that the Trinity is a mystery. But come to think of it, is that really that mysterious that we can't explain it? Is that really a mystery that we can't really comprehend? I bet you I'm not alone. If you hear the word Trinity, your minds just shut down. You don't want to hear it. But I learned this in my life as a priest and even now being here at Holy Family for a year. The Trinity is about relationships. I will repeat it so you can reflect on these words. The, the Trinity is about relationship. Think about this. God the Father sent His Son to the world to be with us. And when Jesus ascended into heaven, sent the Holy Spirit, what does it tell us? God wants to be in relationship with all of us. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. And we heard this praise all the time. And we can see it on the television. When I saw Tim Tebow, I always remember this passage. John 3.16 3, was written on his face. And also, it's been used so many times in the hospitals at school. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son. And that speaks in itself as relationship. And there's a word that struck me in our readings for today, especially the second reading. Encourage one another. We don't do that all the time. We actually push people away. We always say bad things about another person. We don't encourage a lot of people nowadays. And what does it tell us? I think it's time for us to think about to do encouragement to others is God's way. There's another word inside the word encouragement. Can you guess? Courage. Courage to say good things. When you tweet, say good things about other people. When you're on Facebook, you do the same. Say good things about the person. Because in a way that for God so loved the world, we reflect on what is really love. Love is not easy because as I said earlier, Trinity is relationship. Relationship is not easy. And sometimes relationship fails. What happened? When Jesus came here on earth, Jesus repaired relationships. And we heard in our first reading, Moses was given this law, not for us to be slaves of this law, but to give us a sense of direction to do what is good and what is right. And I learned this being here at Holy Family since I came here a year ago. Whoa, it's been a year. Um, I had no oh. You're clapping because you like me or you're clapping you want me to leave? 
Which one? Um, I've been reflecting about this for the past few weeks, and especially this gospel reading. When I came here first time, and first Sunday was actually July, but they thrown me to this 9.30 Mass, and it was videotaped. And I said, who does that? We're here at South Pasadena, we do it. And I was so nervous that I had no idea what I was doing. But I've been a priest for about, during that time, of seven years. But mostly every single day, I had no idea what I was doing. I am relying experiences from you. And then what I learned from visiting the sick, working with the young people, doing marriages and baptism, religious ed, working with the Trinity group. And this week, the eighth grader graduated. And what I'm saying is, God is so loved. God loved me so much that I have this experience for 365 days that every day is different. It is a relationship. I love you and you love me back more. And I think, what can we learn from this? Loving someone is not easy, but loving someone have the courage to accept who she is and who he is. Last night, oh sorry, yesterday, during uh, Deacon J ordination, I was struck by this. There's this candidate or being ordained, very tall man, not me, I'm short. Um, there was just sitting, uh, like standing there, carrying his child on his shoulder, and he's being ordained. And I said to myself, all the time, as a priest, it struck me with this relationship between a parent and a child. Every time I'm here at Holy Family, when I see a mom and a dad with their children, it is inspiring. I guess having a child is not easy either because it's a lot of work, but you put something into it that is inspiring. That is love. With your marriage, it is inspiring as well because you put so much into it that you will say to your, your husband and wife, I am all yours, no matter what. And that's what I'm learning here in our gospel, gospel story for today, for God so loved the world. Loving is not alone. You have to encourage one another and to courage, and the courage to say, I will love you no matter what. And the last point I want you to reflect on about the Trinity, because it's a relationship, I want you to Bear in mind, reflect in your heart, the gentleness of God. The Trinity is about gentleness of God. Sometimes we see God so far away or harsh. No, for God so loved the world that God is loving, compassionate. Why it's hard for us to see the gentleness of God? Because we're so harsh to ourselves. We say to us, we can't do this, I can't do that. She doesn't like me. He doesn't like me. That's not true. God is so gentle. And that is the Trinity that we know in our faith. And the image that I can give you again is this image of the father carrying his son yesterday. And also for you at home. Think about the prodigal son story. The father embraced these two sons with gentleness. I encourage you or challenge you to be gentle to yourself. Be gentle to your neighbors or your friends and to your parents or to your sons or daughters because the gentleness of God will help us to grow more as Christians and be gentle to one another. May the Holy Trinity bless us every single day because love is love. God is merciful. And God be with us.